All right, we're out here night fishing at Queen Street. It's my cousin Matt. Yep. Gonna catch some hogs. Start off with a crankbait. See how it works out. Hate walking over this thing. Oh, there goes a light. Someone's having a fire. It is, it's clear tonight. I'm gonna go on the other side of you. <coughs> Whew, excuse me. Remember that night we went fishing? The other night we didn't come here? When we went to the uh, the 55 and older? I came here after, after I dropped you off at DC. <laughs> here we go! I don't want to lose him, dude. I got a video. Whoo, baby. Number one. All right, you can stop jumping now. Oh, it is a large mouth. Just checking to see if it was a spotted bass for a second. Johnny boy with the first bass of the night. Let's catch Black and blue Senko, man. Wacky rig, that's where it's at. Nice fish. Nice little guy. Yeah. A pound, maybe. There you go. How to push on. He got a little belly on him. Let's turn him around so if I can. Look at that. He, might, he was probably the one that was. Little, like, little stomach on him. Uh, uh, I'll get a picture in it. Next to the, uh, the See you. Alright, I'm going to teach you a lesson. This guy don't have it, but if you look ever... Remember that bass I caught the other night? Yeah. We were down here, the big one. It had a red red lip on it. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see this. If they have a red lip on them, it's real real bright red. That means that they're feeding on crawfish. They're, they're The crawfish are so hard that when they bite down on it, they get a red lip. So, if you ever catch a, a bass with a red lip, you know they're biting on crawfish. So, this is a little fat guy. A little chubster. I caught him there and ripped that open. I thought I was going to lose him. That's why I wanted to get him in. But Here you go. Get a snapshot of him. I'll put the flash on and see what I can get. Throw that on the story too. Let her go. There we go. First bass of the night, flapping all around like a. I don't even know. Well, there we go. Shout out to the uh, the Bass Pro Shop Senkos. Fifty of them for ten dollars. I thought, okay, I'll get them. Give some to my grandpa for for Christmas, and. What do you know? It sinks just like a Gary Yamamoto. A little bit stronger. And it it produces bass. As you can see right there. First cast.
out here fishing in the Pine Barrens. Not sure exactly where we are. It's hunting season. I drove by this lake the other day. I said, oh, well, I got my fishing pole, so let's try it out. I'll start off with a, a crankbait and a wacky worm. I heard there's a lot of perker on here, but hopefully they'll hit this. What's the bottom look like? Rocks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah. No. You don't really keep pickerel either. Uh, I don't think. I mean, I've never uh -huh. eaten one. This is the first one I caught out here. Oh. And I, I wasn't even recording on my camera when I caught it. <laughs> Get it back in before it dies. Yeah. <laughs> first little pickerel. She came over here when I caught it. Huh? She came over here when I caught this fish. Did you see it? Yeah. There you go. Are you trying to take a picture of me with it real quick? Yeah. Throw it on the snap. <laughs> Save that one. Yeah, you can save it too. Look how look look what they look like in the water. They just look like snakes. You can't really see it. The pickerel is right there. There's a pickerel walk right there. You guys see that? I hope you saw that on camera.
You don't have any flies in your box, do you? Yeah. Is this yours? It's not that big. I got a logo. I found yeah, this then. Let's see. Weird. I don't want to hook his gill by unhooking the... He's little. Yeah. Pull it out from the mail. Or I could just do that. Alright, how about... Keep pulling it. It's got them right in the tongue. Here, I'll get my scissors out. Hold his mouth. Hold, yeah, I was just going to say, hold his mouth open. Where'd you get it? Right over there? Not just straight up. Gave you my good lure, man.